This week on our Way Sprinter segment, we are going to be celebrating a daring and illustrious young achiever. He has chosen to pitch his tent in the multi-billion dollar real estate industry where he is currently setting the pace for others to follow. His name is Kunle Owolabi. A 32-year-old entrepreneur with strong passion to impact his world in the best ways possible. He started off his entrepreneurship career at age 19 by trying his hands in every business endeavor. Observing the challenges in real estate and the need for solutions, he ventured into real estate and Rigini Homes was birthed from his passion. He is currently the MD and CEO of Rigini Homes Limited, a company that helps bring people's imagination in real estate into reality. The company started in 2017 but was officially launched and structured in April 2019. He studied accounting from the Faculty of Business Administration of the University of Lagos. He has obtained several certificates from different important disciplines for his entrepreneurial goals. Kunle Owolabi believes so much that we all can make impact no matter how little and he strives every day to be of immense help to people around him and his community at large. He is an excellent leader who likes to read, strategize, plan, pray, network and spend time growing his business. My name is Kunle Owolabi, I'm the CEO of Virginia Homes Limited. Um, a company that offers affordable real estate services and products to people. Um, so we came about Regini Homes because of the fact that we noticed that a lot of people who could afford to be landowners or property owners are unable to because of the fact that they don't get to see a company that can help them to discover that they can actually um, achieve this. So we started in 2017. Um, but because of the challenges we faced and some of the other things, um, we couldn't really start well then. But beginning of last year, we started so well and um, today we can say we've been able to at least impact a huge number of people who never thought they could become landowners and they are currently landowners through Regini Homes Limited. Okay, so basically, um, it was one of the things I would say I uh, we really need to correct, especially in this part of the world. Because when I started, I could remember meeting some set of people and anytime I appear to these people and they look at me that, oh, this guy is still so young. How come? How is he managing this business? They get so discouraged until when I start talking and they see what I have to offer before they will now give me full audience. Now, it's been challenging, especially when we just started, 2017, 2018. They just see it like you have to be up to 38, 40, 45 before you can run a real estate company, which is not so. It is not. So it's one of the major challenge. The other challenge is that um, when you're starting, you make it open to everyone. Everybody come and work with me, come and do this with me. But along the line, you discover that some people won't... They'll see it's like, am I supposed to be following everything this person is saying? He's so young, he's as young as my son or something. So it's part of the challenges a lot of people are facing in Nigeria. And at the same time, because we are young, we're supposed to have different platforms. From government, from organizations, that should help us in boosting our business but i don't want to say we don't have at all but i can see we hardly get to see this in this part of the world so it's been challenging but we give glory to god we're still there and we are doing fine mm. <laughs> i'll quickly say this when i was so young um, there is this particular thing we used to do on the street then, which is we use sand to build house. We use the same sand to fence the house. So anytime we are doing this thing, I always have problems with my friends, even though we were young then. And the reason is because anytime anybody is getting close to the house, I always feel, is it that they scatter the fence or they scatter the house that is built with sand? 
so which means i love to build and i love to do it in a way that when a lot of people see it they'll be like oh this thing is nice even though i was doing it with sand then so this thing entered my head so as i was growing up even when i was in the university studying accounting i always had it at the back of my mind that i'm going back to real estate even though i never knew how i was going to be starting then so when i was starting in 2017 i made up my mind that i would make sure part time we always have people who never thought they could become landowners to become landowners so beginning from last year we started our different programs and everything and we noticed that some people started they could not finish they stopped along the line i called my people let's go back and meet these people let's reorientate them let's encourage them so that this thing can be possible and today i am glad in fact i am more than happy that we have a lot of people who never thought who never thought they could even have one square meter and today some of them even have more than 600 square meters with us so i'm so glad and at the same time i always want to be someone that will create employment in any way i find myself and to the glory of god today i am among i can say i'm among the people who are trying to do everything possible to solve the unemployment program and um, problem that we have in nigeria today because at least we have a reasonable number of people who work for regini as a full-time staff we have some part-time we have contract and we have some who are independent they work from their wherever they find themselves and we still pay them at the end of the month right from when i was young i'm this kind of person that i don't really believe in competing with people i don't really believe in even when i was in school i don't really believe in competing with people but because this is business and if we're saying competition is not there then we are deceiving ourselves but the major thing is that we are not competing with any particular company we are in this industry to solve problems we are in this industry to impact our world in a little way that we can but we will never for once ignore what other companies are doing especially the positive ones that they are doing and we will never for once be lackadaisical about whatever we are doing because we don't want to compete with any particular company but we we'll see regina with the plans that we have with what we are especially these days what we are executing among the five top real estate companies not just in nigeria but in the whole of africa in less than five years okay so basically i would like to mention three in fact i had to go over the three again um when we we're opening this place that we have now this is our new office um the richest man in babylon is something i always is a book i would always i always want to read it like every three months good to great i don't play with it and built to last there are just three among the multiple books that I can play with. So I I love to read a lot. Like I find it so so easy to read anytime, any day. And one of the reasons is because I believe um, we have a lot of solutions to the problem we have in books. So we just, I, I feel we just need to locate that particular books that we need to read, like the ones I just mentioned now. Um, for anyone who is trying to become a millionaire or a billionaire, Richest Man in Babylon is one of the books you just have to read. You're building an organization that you want to be great. Then you have to read good to great with some other books built to last. So it doesn't look like you're just you just want to assume that okay because you're doing it like this because this person is doing it like this because that person is doing it. what is working for this person might not work for you but by the time you read different kind of books you get to you know 
get a lot of um, solutions to the problem you're going through and at the same time i love to spend a reasonable number of time on my business like most of the time i come to the office even when i come to the office late my people leave the office for five i stay back not because it is so convenient to stay back but because you just have to still stay back reason brainstorm on this do that do this and like they told us when we were just growing up in church quiet time is always the best time to get a lot of solutions to the problem you have so i like spending enough time on my business i still go for site inspection like every week i follow them to the site because i want to know what is going on i want to know what this person is telling that client concerning the site is she getting it right is she getting it wrong is it saying the right thing it should be saying is it saying what is going to make the client pay so i spend enough time on my business and also i don't for once play with god because the grace of god is key to anything we want to do and we want to be successful in it in life the grace of god is very key so i don't play with god and i like to meet people anytime i have any leisure time i like to use it to meet new people to meet people who could become clients to network thank you